morning, uh, just now. I just put on some of this uh, Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. Um, it goes on really, really well. It has like a universal tint to it. It's SPF 50. Um, they do a really nice job with their tinted sunscreens. Yesterday, I, um, I got it in my head. I wanted to go to Walmart, I know. And I actually had one of the most pleasant experiences shopping in Walmart yesterday. It was just, it, it wasn't crowded in there. It was really relaxed. There were no screaming children. I was like, am I really in a Walmart or in a dream? Um, I went in there because <clears throat> My coffee table, I actually want to get rid of when I move, and my coffee table has like a file cabinet system within it that I don't use that much. I have a small number of files remaining of, of hard copy files that are required for me to keep, uh, but every, everything else I've converted entirely to electronic and just to minimize, minimize paper because I don't like clutter and excessive stuff. But I'm thinking I want to get rid of that thing because um, it's kind of an eyesore and I want to just, when I move into the other apartment, I want to get something smaller and it just doesn't occupy as much space. So in the meantime, to, to store those files, I went in there looking for a file cabinet kind of box thing and I was pleasantly surprised to find um, they have this buttermint green stuff that um, is actually kind of tasteful. Um, so I got this box here and it, um, I like the color and it's actually pretty nice. And then I also got these um, little um, hanging pockets that you can put just like receipts in instead of a full length file folder. Um, I thought those were really handy. So yeah. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to strike uh, gold like that. I was really happy with that. They have a lot of cute little um, desk stuff in the corresponding colors, and I like it because it matches the frame around my bulletin board that I hang you guys, the cards you guys send me up on. So, um, you know, I don't know what my setup's gonna be in the new apartment, but that matches nicely with that frame. Then they have some other little accent type things that were sort of, uh, minimalistic and, and cute so yeah I was happy with that yeah I wound up having a leisurely Friday evening to myself in Walmart I mean it was an unbelievably and unusually peaceful experience I, I didn't know how I got so lucky I also got this little um, cheapy outfit I got the whole thing for 10 bucks it's super comfortable here it's this um, it's like in their active wear. I was I was really impressed with a lot of their clothing I don't know it seemed kind of cute um, it's in their active, kind of in their active wear. Here, I'll come over to my, over to my pathetic selfie mirror for you guys in the dark. <laughs> I know. Um, but it's basically just like a little gray, like, I don't know, running tank. And then I am sort of have this strange obsession with men's basketball shorts. I just find the fabric is always incredibly comfortable. And they have these little running shorts for women that are sort of the same fabric. So I got this just to kind of slink around the house in because it's already getting super hot. Um, and so I don't know if I'm gonna wear this out and about today with my mom. Because we're, we're going out um, to lunch later and um, I'll probably just put on like a sweatshirt on over it. But I went ahead and doused myself in sunscreen on the body. This is the Fruit of the Earth uh, Love That Sun chemical sunscreen that I got that I got at the 99 cent store. I actually really like this stuff. Um, it doesn't have any, this is the one that doesn't have any, any fragrance in it. So I've been happy with that little 99 cent score. Um, but uh, let me get another sip here of Totoro in. Really happy with, really happy, can you see him judging over there? Really, really happy with the um, Tuscany Candle Vanilla Creme Brulee candle that I got BOGO at Kroger this past week. It smells like a nice little coffee shop in here. I really like the way it smells. It's not overwhelming. It's like they nail the candles. The Tuscany Candle really nails their scents. Really happy with that. And so everybody's getting their summer Fab Fit Fun Box. Like, I have to stop mid YouTube video. Some of the YouTubers that I watch who get it, they're always like, so this is what came. And I'm like, no, I can't watch it yet because yet again, I still have not got mine. I don't know why I'm always last last on the, on the list. Yeah, I even went in and like 
selected certain things and was able to kind of pick and choose. So hopefully this time I don't get things that I don't want, but I thought I would get it more expeditiously. I don't know, I probably need to let them know that or something. But anyways, guess who did come through for me? Someone I haven't seen in a while. I got my May No Make No Life box or No Makino Life, my Japanese beauty box subscription. So I'll open it up and show you guys what came inside. All right, so the Tokyo Treats has a variety of these fun little subscription boxes that you can get. And they have like a, a Japanese snack box one that you get. There's another one you can um, subscribe to that's like different fun little Japanese toys, kind of like Sailor Moon and Hello Kitty type stuff. And then they have this Japanese beauty box called No Make No Life, which is what I get. And it comes with the, once a month. Um, I'll list the link down below. It takes you to the Tokyo Treats site. And then um, at the top of the site, they have different tabs. You can pick the tab of the box that you're interested in. But it's a lot of fun. And I don't know, some of the stuff in it I have fun using and other stuff I end up gifting and, and that sort of thing. But it's fun. Um, and so this is the uh, Sakura edition of the May box, I guess. And it tells you, it, it comes with this little booklet, it tells you a description of everything that, that comes in the box. And this month we got some cute stuff. It's the, I don't know exactly what Sakura is, but. First we got this pretty little uh, cherry blossom scented soap that it's gonna be great in my, uh, I like to keep scented hand soaps in my like uh, sock drawer. It just kind of makes everything smell nice. Um, it's a pretty little cherry blossom if you can see that there. So that's fun. And then they always have some sort of makeup-y thing, which I'm never interested in, but I'm actually pretty excited for these. They are these little um, uh, Ducato Bijou stone seals that go on your nails. They're just like little jewelry bling. I think these are so fun to just stick on and, and be sort of silly. Um, I think they're really cute. It's kind of like a princessy theme box this, this month. Then we also got a Japanese sheet mask that has, um, Unfortunately, it has fragrance in it, but it also has, uh, what else does this have in it? Um, a bunch of moisturizers, um, and it uh, looks like a fun one, aloe, boswellia, serrata. So I can never have enough of these to do for fun, but if they have fragrance in them, then I, um, I either don't do them or I wash my face after I, I do them to remove the fragrancy goo, but whatever. <laughs> This mask, however, I'm really excited for. This is an argon oil foot mask. It's these like little sock thing, plastic socks that you can put your feet in. It has argon oil and I think shea butter in it as well. How nice is that gonna be after a long run? It's like these little socks. These look like a ton of fun. I've always wanted to do one of these, so I'm pretty excited about that one. This is, I guess they partnered up with Disney and they have this Rapunzel theme little bath set that has a bubble bath in it and a scented body cream and then a little um, loofah sponge. Oh, I just think that is so adorable. How cute of a little um, present would that be for a little girl? So that's really cute. And then I was reading that um, in, the, in the pamphlet, it says that the brand DHC partnered up with Disney as well, and you can get a Marie-themed uh, hand cream by DHC. It is so cute. Here, I'll show you guys the picture they show here. Yeah, can you see that little Marie hand cream? How adorable is that? I would totally have loved to have that as a child. Um, how cute. Awesome. But anyways, yeah, it's a ton of fun, and I, I like getting this. Hi, so we're um, out here. We're going into Marshalls and Home Goods. We also have a Kirkland's Happy here. Happy Saturday, everybody! We also have a Kirkland's here. I've never been in Kirkland's before. I've only been in one time. Is it good? Um, I at that time I went, I didn't find anything that caught my eye, but I think we should give it another chance today since yeah. we're in the mood for shopping. Yeah, for that's what's reason. going on. Looking at the shoes. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know that I could hack that. Those are cute. Little spearies. It's very uh, Florida, very Key West. Yeah. It's just kind of, I like the colors. Yeah, Ty B would look cute Happy riding in that. If it were a little bigger, you he know, could. I used to think that I would be able to tote him like that, but he's too big. He's too active. <laughs> he's getting too long. Yes, 
Speaking of, too bad they don't have a Thai B wallet. Have them on a wallet. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, that is. Well, look at the tassels. What brand is this? It's nice. Oh, I like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's really nice. Fifty dollars. These kinds of things are hard to get in and out of. It's a nice one too. A black one. Kind of muted. Doesn't she have yes. diaper bags? I bought that bag, remember, at Penny's? Uh-huh. Oh, that's it right. It didn't hold up very well. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was a Lily Bloom bag. Yeah. This cat one is really cute for a little girl. It was cute, but it, it, it got it all got mushy. junky. Yeah. Oh. This Rechargeable bag has a battery. battery. It's fine. Hmm. That'd be handy for a camera bag, for sure. Somebody wanna somebody gotta save ten percent. Look how cute this little speaker is. This little unicorn critter. Misting diffuser. Is that just steam? Oh you're supposed to put essential oils in there. Yeah. Do you have one of those? No. Hey, you are my sunshine pillow. I like this outdoor furniture. Wow, isn't that a nice sub? Wonder, it it'd probably stay at the beach. It'd it? probably stay bright and shiny like that for all of two seconds. <laughs> Debbie Downer, always, uh, always on board. <laughs> you said what I was thinking. So I'm looking for a little shelf to go up over that desk. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice if you have, you know, a space, a space for you. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it'd be nice behind a couch mm -hmm. because you could put, um, or in a you could put those little bins under underneath. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be three servings. Uh -huh. I would eat. You didn't want. I would. I'm just Zesty lemon. Are it. these vegan? Probably not. I cannot control myself. They appear to be vegan. You could, uh, oh no, whey powder. Key lime snaps. Snacks. I've never purchased snack foods from, like, Marshalls. I always assume they might be kind of a little stale. It's pretty big. I know. It's quiet. It's like that unusual, pleasant Walmart shopping experience. Here are all the squealing children. We've got this guy tooting a horn every five minutes, telling, rewarding somebody. Look, somebody cracked into the wafer sticks. They 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 were on the same page as you. They already had. Couple servings. <laughs> you have one of these, don't you, sweetheart? I do. I'm like, is that Lake Rose? Yes, no? I yeah. think it is. It's handy. Oh, yeah, I need something like that. I just kind of put them on top of a towel and then they roll around. <laughs> this isn't, this is for fruit. The banana one is also helpful. You can hang the bananas up while they while they ripen. Here's one of those things to create more space. Yeah. Well, bedside fan is pretty. Thirty dollars. So. Where did, where would they have the shelves? Shelves? 
I'm not sure. This place is huge. Lamps. Oh. <laughs> The little owl stool is handy. Yeah, step stool. Some another thing that I need. That's not quite high enough. But children's ones are cuter. Oh yeah, those are nice. Hold I them up. Really oh, they are cute. We're over here in. We're over here in Kirkland's. Little poolside barbecue stuff. Wake me for vacation. <laughs> Share your email address with us. Be cute for the hibiscus tea. It would, yeah. I'm gonna blow up some of that. It's a good mirror, 25% off. Is that full length? Oh no, it's not. I get a little overwhelmed by home decor. <laughs> You like to chew These are not vegan. No. <laughs> mm. I can't say as I would enjoy having that that around him around. <laughs> no, I'm not a fan of that. Here's a nice uh, food bowl. Maybe a little too high. Whoa. These are some blingy collars. Green bean chips. Can humans eat these? They look really good. Bark pops. Doggy popcorn. Oh my goodness. Did you see they had uh, green bean chips for dogs? Oh, how cute. The sweet potato fries, too. <laughs> Seems like you could make these for the dog easily. Does Tybee eat sweet potato? I have. We can have try it this that. weekend. Oh yeah, because you you got the Costco sweet yeah, potatoes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to fix those in the Instant Pot. Yeah. So. I'm sure he would enjoy them. lunch at a movable feast. They have the prettiest flower bed in here. I just love those. Oh yeah, those are pretty. I like the black-eyed Susans. Isn't that what those are called? Yeah. So pretty. Yeah, well, our food came. We really like to eat here. They have a lot of vegan and vegetarian options, and they also have meat options as well. So it's fun for everyone. They also have a little, a little food mart type thing. It's called a movable feast. But I think this is my favorite thing is they have these yellow bird seasoning condiments that they make in Austin. These are really good. They put uh, sriracha to shame. I've never tried the habanero, but the serrano is really good and then they have a spicy one. And you can also get your own, your own amino spritz. <laughs> what did you get? Um, it's called the Southern Plate, uh -huh. but it's uh, all these good veggies. Mm. Some uh, rice with pesto and tofu, grilled tofu. Oh, that looks good. And then it, and then it comes with a salad. I'm, uh, I'm jealous of your uh, veggie patty. Yeah, I got the Happy Veggie Patty. It's their veggie veggie patty. It looks like brown rice, uh, like a, I'm not entirely sure what's in there. Quinoa maybe? And beans? Quinoa and lentils. That's what it is. Steamed veggies, brown rice, and then you can get your choice of marinara, tomatillo, or another salsa. I got marinara. <laughs> Looks good. You've got lime water there. Yeah. My mom is sampling the mar marinara. That was good. Good. I like to put mar marinara sauce on salad instead of salad dressing. Yeah. They also have a vegan chili here. Mm -hmm. Let's try the habanero, the yellow bird habanero. It's really good. It's very spicy. I think I like it. I find that a lot of sometimes spicy stuff is not spicy enough, it's just too salty. That is a testament to a good hot sauce. It has carrots, onions, habanero peppers, vinegar, garlic, 
a little bit of sugar, tangerine juice, salt, lime, and lime, lime juice. This is good. Yeah, whenever there's an acidic, acidic ingredients in a spicy, in a hot sauce, it makes it even spicier. I learned this the hard way when I was a child. <laughs> Remember I had a, when I was, like, I think in college, I had something really spicy, and I tried to wash my mouth out with a Diet Coke, and Diet Coke's really acidic, and it just intensified the spice. Ooh, Ty B, doing a keg stand there. You just went on a nice walk? It's hot out, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's it's really hot. The UV index today is 11. So we just got back from our little shopping lunch adventure. I'm wearing my Totoro sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is perfect for this time of year because the air conditioning is always on very high. You know, the stores it's too cold to go in in a tank top, but it's just lightweight enough that it's not heavy when it's hot out. It's good, and it's also good. Uh, it's not picky either. I'm liking it. So, yes. Yeah. I'm very excited about it. So I mentioned that that uh, Movable Feast has a little, um, like, grocery store in it. And I was t telling my mom about Lenny and Larry's cookies, since she's such a cookie connoisseur and loves cookies so much. She had never, you've never, never heard of them, have you? The Lenny and Larry's? No. And they're all vegan. I've never had one, but she got really excited and decided to, to get one to try it, but... I think she's gonna be, I, I don't know, I've never had one, but I don't have high hopes that it's gonna be something you like. It's totally vegan. Yeah. No, none of this. Yeah. It's like one of these protein cookies where it's basically a cookie, but then they put protein in it like it's supposed to be healthy, I guess, but and I've never had one. And that it's two servings, mm -hmm. which will be difficult for me to stop at one. Well, you know, I can share with, but you're a non-cookie, a non-cookie file. You yeah. have a lemon poppy seed one? Yeah, lemon poppy seed is a favorite of mine. I have never had one before. That combination. We'll let you know later how that but turns out. I imagine the snickerdoodle would be good. And then I'm having one of my, um, this is one of those uh, true lemonade, berry lemonades I just put here in the snail bean bottle. I'm thirsty. Um, it's my third liter and it feels like I've had no water. Hip. I'll be here with my legs crossed and he'll come up and do this high five and, and these little kisses to my feet. Some little game he plays. He thinks I'm a, a bone. The aroma doesn't stimulate your appetite. What does it smell like? Dog food or something? It smells like stationery. <laughs> you take it out of the plastic, out of the packaging. It's more. a nice size cookie. Boy, that is, it looks, it looks like one that, you, one of those that you would get in the mall. You're gonna put it on a plate? <laughs> Bougie. <laughs> it's pretty. Mm -hmm. right. Well, I don't wanna just tell You can't take a, you can't take a, a urine drug test now, you know that, with the poppy seeds. I know, poppy seeds too. Yeah. Create a false. All right, first impression, Larry and Lenny's. Well, it's not a crunchy cookie. It's it's very chewy. Mm -hmm. Time to get down. So is it soft? Yeah, it's Some, soft. Like a soft baked cookie, which is not really your preference. Lenny and Larry probably aren't watching, so, you know, feel free to rip into it if you don't like it. It seems like Lenny and Larry have the same hair. We're waiting for your opinion on the cookie. Look, look, though. <laughs> They're two faces, yep. but one hair. Yeah, yeah. The mystery. <laughs> well... You know I will consume the whole thing, <laughs> just cause. <laughs> but it doesn't, it doesn't offer me anything. <laughs> well, you, you better I, eat it. In the way of my cookie, my cookie love. All right, well now we know. I think also I've been told, um, I've seen uh, other YouTubers taste test them, and they say that all the flavors end up just kind of tasting the same. But that the lemon one has the most distinct taste because 
There's a lemon to it, but all the other like chocolate yeah. and it's all kind of tasty. It's got lemon extract in it, I know. Um, I want to try it. I don't want to be rude and mean, but when I had it in my she mouth, says that, but once the camera goes, she goes, "This is terrible." Thinking of Play-Doh. It is pretty soft. Ty, break it down. You can't have any honey. Yeah. It's like Play-Doh. It kind of has a doughy consistency. And it says sustainable palm oil. Oh. Um, it's a palm margarine. Yeah, that's basically margarine. Palm, yeah. Palm oil is technically not vegan. Palm fractions. What are what are those like? I don't know. Mathematical palm yeah. trays. Yeah, palm oil is technically not vegan because I think they exploit gorillas or something. Invert sugar. <laughs> that's sugar doing a handstand. <laughs> Inverse. It may have no dairy, it may have no eggs, it may have no soy, it may be non-GMO cross, <laughs> see footnote. It may be vegan, but it's bizarre. I think it's well, one of those things you either like it or you don't. If I clear. wake up tomorrow morning looking like that. <laughs> Yeah, what is the, what are all these little footnotes? This is like this is like reading uh, Dickens or something. You've got to see the footnotes. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but this has totally removed the joy of eating. It's, it's all in that packet. It's like well, you, you don't have to finish it. Well, guys, she walked away just like that. I've never seen you just walk away from a cookie like that. I guess that's, the verdict is in. Bye. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. My mom's having a seizure over there. <laughs> give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>